it's froggy out today. One of the things that I said in my last video on Kate Brooks was that uh, I was not aware of any attempt by Kate to remove all signs of her poor debate for performance from the internet, i.e. the original Oxford Union upload of the debate, uh, and that, you know, it would be a different thing, I think, if she was just attempting to ask people to remove videos that she felt characterized her unfairly in mostly in their commentary on her performance if it was a, a viewpoint that she didn't actually hold, if she was only entertaining that side of the debate for the purposes of the debate. And, and I would understand that. I think that would be kind of understandable. And it would be a different thing if she was trying to remove all signs, um, all traces of her performance from the internet, i.e. trying to get the Oxford Union folks to take down their copy of the video. One thing that I realized in all of this is that I had not watched the entire debate, which is pretty bad, really. I'd only watched the the versions that had been uploaded by various people, Vernaculus and Sargon and Diana Davis and other people, um, and, and their commentary on it. And I'd seen some of Peter Hitchens and some of the other fellows uh, making their points, as well as, of course, all the Kate Brooks stuff. So I endeavored to watch the rest of the debate, or really listen to it, to watch the thing in its entirety. So I went to the Oxford Union website, or YouTube channel, and I found the playlist, and I hit autoplay, and I heard some of the references to things that Kate Brooks said, and I listened to some of the other people, in particular some of the opening speeches were far better arguments. Even the arguments against the proposition that there's a right to offend inherent in free speech, uh, they made some decent arguments, and I didn't hear a lot of personal attacks, I didn't hear a lot of fabricated quotes, and that sort of thing. But you know what I didn't hear? Is I didn't hear Kate Brooks' actual segment. And then I heard silence. So I ran back to the computer and I saw that my autoplay had completed and there's no video of Kate Brooks in there. There is one single in the playlist, one single private video. So that's not a good sign, right? Uh, and I'm not sure why it's privated and I'm not certain that that privated video is the video of Kate Brooks segment, but some simple math might lead one there, I'm not sure. And as I said in my video, I invest in my own integrity. I don't invest in the things that I say. And if I'm wrong about Kate Brooks, I'll be the first to admit it. This isn't a good sign, this particular privated video. Seems like a little censorship might be taking place here. Listen, I can appreciate if she is embarrassed by her own performance there because it was a terrible performance. This was not really a debate performance. This was this was theatrics, I think, to a large degree. She didn't speak well for herself. She didn't speak well for that side of the debate. You could argue, or she might argue, that the reason that she didn't show well for herself is that the lack of preparedness for a comprehensive argument or something like that. Either way, um, you know, things done, uh, attempted to cover up nowadays, only make you look worse. And I would uh, say now, and I've said this about videos in the past, you know, that when people attempt to remove traces of things that they've said or done on the internet, what's left behind are all the worse ones. The ones that characterize you way less fairly than your original post. In other words, all the commentary left by Vernaculus and Sargon and Diana Davison are all still going to be there, and Noel and everybody else. They're all still going to be there, and the only one that you've successfully removed is the one that uh, where there is no commentary. Better you should issue your own correction, your own explanation video, and put that out there, and uh, put your face out there, and hope that people will come to recognize the truth, if that in fact is the truth. Censorship doesn't work anymore, uh, and attempts to sweep things under the rug. They just don't work nowadays. Kate, this doesn't look good. I think uh, aside from all the other things I said you need to answer to in my last video, explain a little more clearly your feminist activism and what it really entails. Make some sort of acknowledgement at least, if not restitution to Peter Hitchens for the misattributed or just complete fabricated quote that you put up there. And I think somebody, Probably Kate should explain why that video, I'm assuming that's the video of Kate, is now private.
Doesn't look good. Thanks for watching.